Deep Seek has delivered again. They have released these two new models. One is Deep Seek V3.2, which is your balanced production ready model designed as a daily driver with both thinking and non thinking modes with tool use capabilities. They also have released this special variant and special here is an Italian word. This is a maxed out high compute variant that pushes reasoning to the limit. This comes without tool use. So it is for deep thinking, research and very complex tasks. Now, even before I tell you more about these models and we test them out, let me show you something very interesting. This probably is the most expensive chart at the moment in AI history. Google spent 100 billion plus on their Gemini 3 and other models just last week. And if you go to social media, you will see that everyone was talking about Google's Gemini 3 and calling it that the game is over. I think game is not over, but DeepSeek has trumped everyone else. This graph shows you that DeepSeek has beaten especially the special model. All the high flyers like GPT-5, Claude 4.5 Sonnet and Gemini 3 Pro by a wide margin. Even the daily driver, the DeepSeek V3.2 thinking model has beaten everyone else on all the top benchmarks out there. The thing is that not only DeepSeek has released this model, they have released it with a, with a very, very permissive license. So you can use it to do whatever you want. It's a production grade enterprise ready model. Now, there are two parts of this video. One is this one where we are going to test it out on various benchmarks um, along with understanding the model. I am also going to do another video where I will be showing you how to get it installed locally. So stay tuned. Now let's get right into it. I'm going to go to this chat.deepseek.com. By the way, this is the daily driver, the DeepSeek V3.2, the new model is there. This is not the special one at the moment. Special one is only accessible through API from their platform. It is also available on the Hugging Face 2, as I just showed you. So let's give it first prompt in a thinking mode where I'm asking you to create me a standalone HTML file using uh, p5.js basically i'm asking it to create me or simulate me a futuristic autonomous drone control interface and then there are various um, interactive options constraints which i have given it so let's run this and by the way you might face sometime uh, some 500 errors because it seems everyone is using it and as is the case with deep seek it has started with a banger the thinking is always great it is printing out the code which looks amazing while it does that let's talk very quickly about the three major technical features it has produced dsa is the core of it and it is extremely important to understand it and if you want to really appreciate deep seek model let me explain it in very simple words dsa is an optimization that makes this model dramatically faster with long contexts by intelligently selecting which parts of the input to focus on think of <clears throat> think of it like speed reading instead of reading every word which reduces complexity while maintaining quality and then they have this scalable reinforcement learning framework, which means they through massive computational resources at teaching the model through trial and error, similar to how AlphaGo learned. This is what enabled the gold medal competition performance, and they have shared a lot of benchmarks. And then finally, this large scale agentic task synthesis pipeline is a new system that automatically generated over 1800 synthetic environments and 85,000 complex task scenarios to train the model on hard to solve easy to verify problems so basically they have created a massive training gym where the ai learned to be a better problem solver with tools for this model so this is what it all means now 
uh, please follow me on x if you are looking for ai updates without hype and fluff and i'm regularly posting it out there not just ai but also various other things you are going to enjoy it also please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that always helps a lot and that keeps the lights on um, on the channel especially the membership okay let's go back and see what is happening it is still printing out the code and as i said i'm also going to install um, mainly the special model after this video so stay tuned for the next video too and i'm just going to wait for this one to finish and it has generated the code let me show you in the browser so it has followed the pr prompt to the hilt on the top right there is some telemetry around flight mode it is hovering at the moment and this is a battery and it has also given us the speed now on the bottom right you can see that there is some turbo boost let's run this so this is the turbo boost happening and you see the flight mode is cruise at the moment let me do turbo boost again and then initiate landing and you see and it is landing how good is that and when i click it also does this and this is the first attempt and you can already tell how good that is and of course you, we can improve it again and again this is all self-contained html look at the background look at this simulation of a cloud so i think one of the best i have seen in one go and now let's try out another coding problem so what i have done here i have given it a real world problem where i, I have um, asked it to fix a golang distributed cache implementation that is supposed to be production ready but there are a lot of issues in it and I, these are the constraints and then this is a full code from a prod environment which i have given it and i'm asking it to first find the bugs and then fix them let's run it and you can see that the model thinks long and hard so let's wait for it to start thinking and there you go so the model is going step by step it is breaking down the issue following the chain of thought and i can tell you that it is already uh, pinpointing the exact issues around race conditions and then stat counters deadlock all of it is spot on i mean from my side i gave it a very complicated production issue but it seems that it is uh, already on top of it it is identifying all the issues by the way and i think it is also detecting some of the subtle logical errors anyway i will now wait for it to finish and then we will check out the final product and it has done a world-class job not only it has identified around 30 35 bugs and improvements some of the subtle errors and some real targeted optimizations in the code as you can see it's very very in-depth lot of stuff is there and once it has done it it has thought verified fixed some of its own code improvements and then it has generated this code which i already have reviewed and it looks spot on it has added the comments it has even shrunk the size of the code to make it faster and this is just out of this world i think this is a world class output and then it has explained it and given us a summary what it has done with all the details amazing stuff okay let's quickly try out a language one so in this one i'm asking it what is life and then i'm giving it the answers of various philosophers like aristotle says it's the mind uh, nietzsche says it's power and fahad Mirza says it's membership to my channel and then i'm asking the model now so the question was what is life now i'm asking the model that what would a philosopher say about falling what is a wife and all the philosophers are there including your favorite AI youtuber okay let's see and while it prints the answer please follow me on x and also please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member okay let's go here there you go so it says dostoevsky would say a trial socrates an unexamined bond that's very nice a rational companion aristotle is always very noble nietzsche well 
uh, I haven't said it. Model said it. Freud. Okay, this is very very intelligent. You see, it has I think summed up whole Freudian philosophy in this answer. Really. Um, and then Schopenhauer, compulsory companionship, Einstein, relative to the observer. Look at uh, the innovation and in intelligence of the model. And yep, you see, model is answering as per philosopher's domain. And was well, a subscriber to my channel. Absolutely, I would say member. But yeah, let's see. And now let's check out a quick math question. This seems short, but it is brutal. This prompt is not only checking out the number theory, prime distribution, but also how the model does a proof construction or counterexample finding. And you can already see it is going between consecutive primes here. Also, it is checking out if model has Bertrand postulate understanding and model needs to do some rigorous mathematical reasoning. And that is what you can see it is already doing. It is coming up with its own equation. It is checking. It is just pausing and then remunerating on its own response. And it is brutal. It is going to take long time. But I can already tell you that model is not really going into hallucination. But we will wait and see. I have seen many, many models going into uh, loops and hallucinations instead of solving it. So I will just give it a uh, few more minutes to see how it goes. It's been 10 minutes. The model is still thinking. I'm just scrolling up to show you how much it has thought. And this is not even half of it. But the good thing is model has already uh, found out this Bertrand's postulate and it has figured out that it is true. But it is going through lot of threads, lot of chain of thoughts. And then it is also checking various alternatives to see how it goes. So um, you see, it says <laughs> it has already given it the statement is true. And then it is going to give me the answer. So the good thing is that model doesn't really jump to a conclusion. And you can see that it just thinks as per the problem. So I'm just going to stop it instead of uh, letting it run for ages. Let me open a new one and I'm going to quickly do um, a multilingual translation. So I'm asking it, translate this sentence, we suffer more in imagination than in reality. And I have given it various world languages from across the globe. And if your language is not here, let me know in the comments and I will also include it. And then I'm also asking it to uh, do a fictional language and some cultural notes, you see. Not much thinking was needed here and I love this because translation tasks are not math or coding. Either you know it or you don't. So model has, I think, done some very intelligent routing here. And I'm just going to scroll through and you have to tell me if your language translation is good or not because I can't check all of them. You know, visually looking, because I have done this before, most of them look uh, really good. Quite literal and formal like this Urdu one, but not bad at all. So I'm just scrolling through. There you go. So there are some regional languages too. And I'm just scrolling through. You can pause and check your language. And it is going with all the languages out there. And as I said, if your language is not there, let me know. Okay, Amharic is also done. Many models just start hallucinating at this point. And these are from Southeast Asia. And now European languages. And there are many of them. And then look at the gibberish. <laughs> this is quite interesting. And it has done Elder Futhark and Klingon is very common. Now look at this Chinese one. It is talking about some uh, parallel structure, which is some bare bond pain, which is more formal and literal, uh, literary than simply suffer. Very nice. Arabic, it is talking about poetic word around, you know, something like this, but the meaning is timeless, really. Japanese, again, really, really good stuff. So you see, I think the model is not only good in language tasks, but also math and coding is just simply amazing. Just remember, this thing this was really really good stuff now i think that 
they have done wonderfully well in terms of this model not only you know they have improved the quality which is very visible from the tests which we have run but also the way it has been doing all the routing as per the prompt's complexity let me know what do you think as i said i will be also making another video where we will check out how to get this thing installed locally especially i'm interested to install this special model uh, locally to see how exactly this works so again i think another banger another good stuff from deep you know huge respects thank you for all the support